Hey guys, sorry that I haven't made a, a video in a while regarding uh, the voice exercises. So I'll just give you a, a couple of exercises uh, today. Uh, one one thing to, that I, I noticed I didn't mention in my previous uh, voice exercises is that when you're starting out, you know, before you do the humming and things and the trills, uh, yawning is a good idea. So, oh, kind of clears the airway. Uh, the other thing is, don't push. Because, you know, we're trying to get the resonance here, right? And I know it's hard to do that, and we're often um, tempted to push too much, and that's straining these muscles. So I don't really know how to... Um, how to explain it better because when I was starting out, I mean, I'm not, a, like I said, I'm not a teacher in this, right? I'm just speaking out of my own personal uh, experience of doing this. So I like always run this by your voice therapist. Um, but like when I, w I in the beginning, I, I think I was pushing too much, trying to get things here. Uh, and maybe you have to start out that way and gradually relax. Or maybe you should just be relaxed from the beginning. You, I guess everyone has their own kind of journey there. But you need to try and, and be relaxed, right, when you speak. Um, also, make sure you're opening your mouth. Uh, I have this thing where I don't open my mouth when I speak. So I have to make an effort for it. Uh, it used to be even worse. So that's, that's the other thing. Uh, make sure you're opening your mouth <laughs> uh, when you speak. So you're not speaking with a closed mouth like this, right? Uh, so one of the exercises that you can uh, try doing is, like we said before, you know, the sentences, right? So oranges are very nice, right? You can do two phrases into a sentence, right? So oranges are very nice. I like them a lot. And the second sentence can start with a vowel as well and use the breath before you say it. So let me think of another one. Umbrellas are very good, especially when it's raining. Okay. Um, the other thing that you can try doing is once you're, you're okay with this level, start try um, speaking softly and saying it. We never whisper. Okay, Whispering is bad for your vocal cords. But speak softly and, and low. So, um, umbrellas are really good, especially when it's raining. Okay? And then you can try it really loud. And, and this, you may need to be a bit um, careful with this one. So, maybe start with just a word loud and then make it a phrase and then uh, two phrases or, or a sentence. Um, so, you can say, umbrellas are very good. Especially when it's raining. Okay? And so you can play with the middle and then the soft and then the loud. And, you know, if you're anything like, like I was, um, I wasn't using my voice at all or almost at all. Like barely saying anything. Uh, and that really weakened my vocal cords. So you may take some time to build up to this level, right? So keep trying. It's hard, but keep trying. Um, and, you know, and your vocal cords will slowly get back into shape. Um, what else? Oh, the other thing that you can try doing is, you know, when I was young, I used to play hide and seek. And well, sometimes I still do with my kids. And uh, in, in Cyprus, where I live, we, we count in fives up to 100, right? So it's 5, 10, 15, 20, but we do it in Greek. And that's how we count. And then we say, I'm coming, you know, like ready or not kind of thing and because I thought you know maybe my muscle memory from when I was a child is better than than now so if there's anything that you used to say or sing or whatever or do when you were a child um, maybe a nursery rhyme that you used to say a lot or something maybe it's worth trying to start with those maybe somehow and this is just a theory maybe somehow the muscle memory will kick in and it might help you get where you're going uh, where you want to go faster. So you can try um, counting. So if you used to count to, to 10, and you could say one, two, 
three, take breaths from the diaphragm, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Coming, right? Something like that. Um, if it was up to 20, try 20. Um, so that's one exercise. Uh, the other one, the other exercise I like to do, and I'll, I'll, I'll leave it at that, is you can do this thing where you do like a very low vowel sound, like a low A sound, and there's like a little bit of a vocal fry in that. So like, ah, yeah, so a low A sound, just, just do a low A sound, and then do a high pitched uh, ooh sound, right? So, ooh, always taking a breath before the vowel, right? So it's soft. Okay, so, ha, ah, Now, before you try that one, you need to be able to, to say these vowel sounds normally um, without effort, right? So you need to be completely relaxed when you're doing this. Um, and then once you you do that, you can you know just continue the low high low high right. Um, I find that works very well with me. Um, that's it, guys. Take care.